what would it be if there wasn't a mistake, right? Okay, um, at this time, I guess we're gonna have uh, Chris come on up. This is Terry's nephew, Chris Schimbaugh. As uh, Pastor Paul said, I won't keep you very long. And as my dad would always say, 15 minutes or so will be done. <laughs> We're gathered here today, and I apologize, I get a little stage fright. <laughs> We're here to celebrate the life of Terry Schimbaugh. Anybody who knows Aunt Terry knows that Aunt Terry had an energy about her, right? Mm -hmm. And her sense of humor, which was uh, oftentimes more so than anybody uh, wanted to know. She had many that loved her many that loved her, and her, her love of life was very, very much evident. One thing that I really love and admire about her is that she decided to stop living for herself and to start living for him. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Matthew chapter 20, Verses 1 through 16 describe in various stages of their lives, giving their hearts to the Lord. It doesn't matter if you give your life at the beginning or if you give your life at the end. What matters is that you did, that you give your life, that you're willing to live for him and ultimately willing to die for him. But the good news is the reward is exactly the same. It's exactly the same no matter what season of life you're in. If you choose to make him the king of your life, the reward is the same. Praise God. I know Aunt Terry's in heaven because she loved the Lord. And most importantly, he loved her and he knew her. He knew her. When we turn our lives over to God and we, and we trust in him, we have a hope in heaven. Isn't that the good thing, the good news this morning or this afternoon? When we know somebody will be in heaven, as my dad always used to say, and I always appreciate it, it's never goodbye. Never goodbye. It's I'll see you later. Because I know I'll get to see Aunt Terry again. John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6 says, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms, if it were not so. But I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This passage teaches us that we cannot prevent the many adversities and losses in this life. We can't prevent that. However, we are able to find strength with the help of our Lord. First Peter chapter five, verse seven says, casting all your anxieties and your cares on him because he cares for you. This, morning, this afternoon, I want to keep saying this morning, I'm a preacher, so it's always in the morning. But this, this afternoon, we know that he cares for us. He cares for us. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There are some in this room this morning, or this afternoon, <laughs> that are, their hearts are heavy. They're weary. This life has a tendency to knock you down and drag you all over the place. These scriptures that I'm, that I'm talking about, they aren't a band-aid to your pain. I simply want to express the reality of what a relationship with God will offer you. For the child of God, trials and tribulations are still present. The difference is that we have the hand of our Savior to hold while we're going through these, 
He sees us. One of my favorite verses in this matter is this. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And death shall be no more. Isn't that a good thing? Death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore. For the former things have passed away. At times like this, it's not uncommon to look for meaning in life. What's this thing all about? What does this all mean? What is it all for? God desires a relationship with each and every person in this room. He desires that relationship. To choose him is what this life is all about. When we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we have an assurance of a home in heaven. Heaven. At times like these, we either grow in our faith or we become bitter or angry. As family and friends, we certainly should accept the, the, the sympathy of others, but we must not rely on others for our lasting comfort. Real and lasting comfort can only come from God himself. Let's pray. Father, our God, our refuge, our strength, close at hand in our distress, meet us in our sorrow and lift our eyes to the peace and light of your constant care. Help us to hear your word of grace, that our fear will be dispelled by your love, our loneliness eased by your presence, and our hope renewed by your promises. Father, give us strength and courage to seek you and your plans for our lives so that we can experience your promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. Aunt Terry had requested a couple songs be played, so we are going to play one of those. We were going to do a video, but the video has given us a little bit of. Do you want to try the video, Chris?